If you're thinking about starting a newsletter, what should you choose? ConvertKit, Substack, Beehive? What are the pros and cons of each? Which platform offers the best free plan? So if you're thinking about starting, this video is for you. This video is sponsored by ConvertKit. However, I've tried all three platforms, growing my audience to 9,000 subscribers, so I'll give you my unbiased opinion to help you make the right choice as a beginner. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you which one I ultimately went with. Let's go! So let's talk about ConvertKit, the veteran in the newsletter space. Starting with the pros, they just launched their newsletter plan, free up to 10,000 subscribers. Imagine if you're on MailChimp, that would cost you 135 bucks every single month. I declare bankruptcy! No thanks. And on this free plan, you can monetize your newsletter for free. It's not pay to play. You can start earning immediately with your digital products, subscriptions, and so on. You can also leverage their recommendation features to get yourself in front of other creators' audiences. It helps you get discovered way quicker. Now let's talk about the cons. Even though you get to leverage email sequences and visual automation, if you plan to have more than one lead magnet, you're gonna have to upgrade. Unlimited forms and unlimited landing pages sound great, but as a product designer, their editor is fairly basic. Would love to see more flexibility from them here. Then there's no ability to remove their branding, which is a small thing, but yet again, as a designer, I would prefer not to have their branding and just use my own. Next, let's talk about Beehive, the new kid on the block. Starting with the pros, they just acquired TypeDream, a website builder, that I'm a huge fan of and a user of for many years. And I think for quick landing pages, this beats out the two other platforms in my opinion. I personally really like their branding. It's fun, quirky, and matches a modern creator company. Fun fact, their founder and CEO was part of Morning Group and grew that newsletter to millions of subscribers. They have a feature called Boost, essentially paying to get more subscribers. But of course, again, it's on their paid plan. That's a bummer, okay. Now let's talk about the cons the higher price point for premium features. You only get 2,500 subscribers. Anything over that will cost you 59 bucks a month. You get none of their advanced features like automations, A-B testing, and the ad network. This makes me sad. <laughs> Even though they're shipping a lot, this means that you might run into bugs more often than not. And features aren't super robust compared to the other two. Lastly, let's talk about Substack, the journalism publication platform. First, starting with the pros. It's a completely free platform for anyone who wants to write or podcast. Love it! In terms of design language, it's actually my favorite. Minimalist, the interface is super clean, published newsletter look great, and they have the best writing and editor experience. Nice. Very medium-like. They're the only platform that has their own app, which lets you chat and push notify your audience. They're also moving into the direction of a social network with their own Twitter, with the option to DM your community. But let's talk about the cons. You don't get any opt-in forms, additional landing pages, no additional products. Kind of reminds me of Apple. No. Oh, no. You're locked into Substack's ecosystem, for better or for worse. They don't really cater to creators that need a sales funnel and drive income in other ways. In fact, the only option when you start thinking about monetization is subscription. Oh, and by the way, they take 10% of each transaction. Yeah, that's a lot. It's really just focused on media, writing, podcasts, so no email marketing tools, things like automations, A-B testing, things that you might need later down the line. So those are the pros and cons of all three platforms. Which one did I choose? Well, again, I tried all three and decided to go with ConvertKit. Ultimately, my decision was to consolidate my newsletter and email marketing into one platform. I sent 100,000 emails in the last 90 days, so I needed all my email subscribers in one place. I have around 9,000 subscribers, and in theory, I could still be on their free plan, but I needed the automations for my welcome emails, lead magnets, and product onboarding. I needed integrations with Squarespace, Stripe, Gumroad to match my tech stack I'm using for my creator business. ConvertKit for me was the perfect fit. It's clear to all of you that I am awesome. But maybe you're saying, fine, Chris, that's your specific use case, but if I'm just starting out, which one should I choose? I'm going to piss off a lot of people when I say, it depends. I kill you, you Like everything, it depends on your use case. If you're looking to start a newsletter hobby with no plan to make money from it, go with Substack. If you really care about your landing pages, go with Beehive. If you're looking to grow your audience, a home base for your email marketing, and eventually monetize it, go with ConvertKit. 
If you take anything away from this video, it's this. The tool should fit you and what you want to do, not the other way around. So why not try all three for free? Create your first email, see what it feels like, play around. Do you like the platform? Do you like the experience? Do you like the community that these products have built? Thanks again ConvertKit for allowing me to give my honest review. And if you want to try it yourself, there's a link in the description. For more life of a creator content, hit that big red button. Until next time, Bye.